Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be doing a review on the Butter London nail polishes. Now I've received five of them and I was really, really impressed so I really wanted to let you guys know about them. If you haven't heard of Butter London polishes before, they are basically polishes that are non-toxic. So they are called the three free polishes. Um, now I'm not too sure what that means but I know that they are the first uh, company that launched non-toxic polishes in the US. Um, wanted to show you guys these polishes. They are high-end sort of polishes. Um, they, they do range on more on the expensive side but they're absolutely amazing. So first of all I wanted to show you guys the one that I'm wearing today and it is the Tarte with a Heart polish and Butter London polishes look like this. They're really really nice packaging and the greatest thing about it is actually when you open it you actually have to lift it up. So you lift it up a little bit until it sort of has a little bit of an opening and then you twist it and then it opens. So it's a little different to your traditional nail polish but um, you know I find it a really cool idea so it doesn't sort of spill everywhere. It also has this lift to open sign right here so it tells you exactly what to do. So anyway um, this polish has no, I can't say these words so bear with me, no fall, formaldehyde, no tolerant, no DP DBP color or car carcinogens I'm not sure um, so basically they're not non-toxic so that's the greatest thing about this company the polish that I'm wearing like I said is this one right here tart with a heart and it's basically gold with um, silver glitters and sort of like multicolor sort of like AB crystals um, sort of glitters so it's really really pretty it's very sheer though I put on about two coats over my OPI Ochi Delich this polish and it came out like this Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it basically just came out like this. It's really, really sparkly, but it's really subtle at the same time. So I really, really like this combination and it's just these two. The other shades that I really, really like, um, this one is one that I was eyeing for a really long time and the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of a uh, dark purple with multicolored glitters. You can see that super super pretty and again it's lift to open and this one is called the black knight so I can imagine this to be super pretty on top of a darker purple or even by itself if you put on several layers I'm sure it will turn out okay the next polish is this one and it's called no more weighty Katie and it looks like this it's more of a gray purple and um, it's quite sheer as well but it's sort of just got really small um, purple glitters in there if you guys can see that it basically looks like this it's a really really nice polish um, the formula of these polishes tend to um, last for I guess maybe three days not particularly long but not a short time either depending on the top coat and the base coat you use as well um, you know I wouldn't say it's a bad polish the formula of it is quite thick so it's not like your, your average runny polish but then again it's quite sheer so you would need about two to three coats before you can actually get a decent amount of color on your fingernails um, I do like these polishes but I think they do better top on top of another coat of polish or on top of a, another I guess more opaque polish um, but yeah I really really like these polishes on top of other polishes of course it also depends on the shades that you're picking but um, yeah this one no more weighty Katie I really really like it had it on my nails for two days I think and then I decided to change this shade um, then this next one is called Mudgeons and this one is more of a pastel purple really really like this shade I love my pastel um, polishes that and I definitely want to show you guys swatches of what these look like on my fingernails once I put them on so um, don't forget to check out my blog because I'm going to continuously put up photos of what I have on my nails etc this next one is called Knackered and this one um, I didn't actually particularly like as much as I did the rest um, this one is more of a green um, I don't even know it's like a metallic green silver so it looks like this and I'm not sure about when you put it on, but I'm sure that it will come out really, really metallic-y. I didn't realize that it was so metallic-y when I um, did, you know, request for this one. So I'm not sure how I like it, but I will definitely find out. 
So I guess that's my short review on the Butter London polishes. Um, the greatest thing about the company, like I said previously, is that they're non-toxic, which means that your nails don't turn yellow after you remove your polishes. So um, yeah, really, really like this company. Like I said, it's more on the higher end of the polishes. So if you're willing to spend a little bit more, but you know, have more, I guess, um, uh, polishes or, you know, things that don't ruin your skin, ruin your natural nails, then I definitely highly recommend these polishes. Um, the company does have a very, very good reputation. So I do hope that you guys check it out. So anyway, that's about it. I also wanted to let you guys know I actually dyed my hair again. Um, you can't really see in this lighting for some reason, but I will post more pictures up on my blog and my Facebook. Basically, I dyed it a sort of reddish color. Um, it does look a little bit more red in real life than it does on this camera right now. But um, yeah... I want my hair red, so... Anyways, hope you guys like it. I know I keep changing my hair. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for reviews, makeup tutorials, um, you know, some advice videos, whatever you like, then definitely let me know. I'm trying to make get back into the, um, you know, making more videos and everything. And yeah, okay, so thanks for watching as usual, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!